Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5. So today is going to be a pretty good day. I'm going to go ahead and kind of lay it out for you guys a little bit. Uh, I basically have the day off because I worked on Saturday so I have Sunday and Monday off instead of Saturday and Sunday. And basically what today is going to be is I need to tidy up my room because it's gotten a little bit cluttered. I want to film a little bit for my bookshelf tour. I want to get a little bit of that done today. Then I have a package from Target coming with my new comforter which I'm very excited to get because I've mostly been just sleeping with blankets and such right now which is fine during the summertime but it is now getting a little bit colder in the winter time and I just want to be nice and comfy and cozy. I'm going to be doing all of that today and then I'm going to be meeting up with a friend of mine for dinner at 6 tonight and I haven't seen her in months so I'm really excited to get to catch up with her and it's just going to be a fun day today. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and head on down stairs really fast. Say hello to the pups. Go check out my advent calendar. And then we will head back up and get going for the day. want to talk to you guys about is so I bought my cousin who she is nine and she is slowly starting to get herself into reading a little bit more and I'm trying to get her into the love for reading like I have and so for Christmas I bought her the entire collection of the series of unfortunate events books I really like like the box and everything I think it looks really cool but what I wanted to ask you guys is like I said, she's nine, she is in third grade, and she's just starting to get into, into reading. I'm trying to figure out if I did a good job picking this series, or if she would probably appreciate the Percy Jackson series better. I don't really know, because she doesn't really have a huge reading taste yet, because she's kind of just been, you know, reading at school to get, like, just to be able to pass school, you know? Like, she hasn't really started reading for pleasure yet. So, you guys let me know down in the comments below if any of you guys might have any children or know, or like, if maybe if you guys have any cousins or nephews or nieces or any kids yourself that might, that might be around that age. What series do you think that, that a nine-year-old would appreciate better? This one or the Percy Jackson series? Because... I was really confident when I bought this because I got this during Black Friday, so this is kind of a sneak peek into the Black Friday haul, but I got this for like a lot cheaper than what it really would have been. Even if she decides that she doesn't want it, I would be more than happy to put this entire series on my shelf. So if you guys think that maybe I should get her the Percy Jackson series, I would just keep this because I got it for so cheap and it would kind of break my heart to have to return it considering how good of a deal I got it for. Um, but yeah, you guys let me know in the comments down below which one you think she would like more. Enough of that for now. Let's go ahead and get this room cleaned up and then we can start filming the bottom section of my bookshelves. Okay, so I just finished filming the bottom row. This is my jacked up lighting system. Try to get some better light. There's my camera and then I had to stack my camera on books because my tripod doesn't go down that low figures right I was going to work on cleaning my room but then I just got the notification that my comforter is outside my door so I need to go get that really fast and then we can work on getting this room cleaned up and back to some type of order here we go okay I do not know how they managed to fit a full slash queen size comforter into this box we're gonna find out I guess once I get upstairs it also should have a new body pillow in here, so I do not know how they managed to do this. Okay, I stand corrected. They were able to, okay, it's not as big as I thought it was, because that makes sense, because it's a quilt. It's not actually like a like comfort or anything. So here is my new, 
So it's going to replace the gray one since I got a gray comforter. I got a white body pillow covered so I have room essentials. And this is the blanket that I got. So I'm such an idiot. Um, I didn't realize that this comforter or this quilt or whatever it is didn't come with shams. So I have a comforter on my bed which is actually really nice but these are the shams from my old comforter and they do not match at all. So I just purchased two shams that match this bedding online for store pickup and I can go and pick them up tomorrow or something. I'm just, oh, I'm so mad that I didn't realize it. Otherwise, I would have bought them all together, but it's all right. And I like the white back there, though. I think it looks nice. My vlogmas for today just went, for yesterday for you guys, just went live 46 minutes ago. And it already has 26 views. I'm really surprised, like, by how well my vlogmases are doing. Like, my first one was only up three days ago, which is weird to think that vlogmas just started a little bit ago. But, and it already has over 300 views, and that's so exciting. And another thing that's really cool is I now have 1,734 subscribers. I have made it kind of like a internal goal to myself to see if we can make it to 2000 by the end of the year i think that'd be really cool and i think it's totally doable and that would be awesome as like a merry christmas to me to have over 2000 subscribers but it's crazy it's crazy so i feel like so bad because i feel like i my my vlog was just probably might be boring some of you guys because i'm not out doing stuff all the time but it's like this is the life of like a real real teenager i have been so i guess we can talk about this then i know in my probably like my video update life update q a something like that i talked to you guys a little bit about how i really did not know what i was wanting to do with my life and how it was stressing me the heck out as i think it would probably stress any people out so i am currently in the process of trying to figure out what degree I might want to start doing and I think I finally come to the decision that I would really like to do some type of English degree and like and like a direction into editing and publishing but I'm just trying to like right now I'm trying to figure out that if I do that what school would I have to go to what type of classes would I need to take like can I stay at the college I'm at right now which is a community college to get the basic credits before I need to go to a really big university because the college the community college I'm going to right now doesn't have like a direction into editing and publishing they don't have that so I would have to go to a university which is fine it would just be more expensive which sucks but it is what it is I'm I have just been doing a lot of research trying to figure out what is the best direction I just really don't know the direction that I need to take for school right now and that is stressing me out because the end of the semester is coming up faster than I can even believe it and then and our openings for classes have already begun for the next semester so I'm already pretty far behind on that I really need to get started I'm trying to figure out though do I want to take this semester off and get another job and just work two jobs to try to save up as much money as I can so I won't have to so I won't have to take out as many loans for when I do go but I'm already 21 soon I'm soon going to be 22 do I really want to be even more further behind on my studies these are all of the questions that I have right now I have been just looking at different colleges in the area because I don't want to leave my the area that I'm living in just yet I'm pretty happy with where I'm at I'm probably boring you guys to death right now so I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and as soon and after I kind of look through some more of these more of these sites a little bit more I will be back with you guys wizards we have witches we have spells and yet for a movie that takes place in the same universe there's a surprising lack of magic for instance there's a lot of scenes that are fight scenes where people are dueling not one spell is cast. There's a scene where Newt is like being attacked and he's like rolling to avoid shots. And the person attacking isn't saying anything. It's almost like they could have replaced the wands with guns. He's just flicking his boom, magic. I'm just doing magic. We will. All right, so I am watching this, which I little, that little clip I just showed you. This is, um,. Evan, I don't know exactly how to pronounce his last name, but I discovered him through Connie Nutarella. I love her. She is really big with doing voice acting and all of that stuff here on YouTube, and he is one of her flatmates, and I found this video through her, and for the most part, I was, like, agreeing with him um, for the first part of this video because he was talking about, about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and how it's basically fan fiction, and that's what a lot of people are saying, and I do agree. I think... 
Cursed Child really did have, like, it was, yeah. Um, but I, for people like this who would claim to be such big Harry Potter fans, and then he goes to say stuff like that, it makes me feel like, okay, did you even read the Harry Potter books? Because the reason why they weren't casting spells out loud is because they were doing non-verbal spells, which is when you become a good enough wizard, you don't have to speak the spells out loud. Because when you're speaking the spells out loud, it A, slows you down, and it B, it lets you know the person that you're dueling against know what spells to expect. So if you can't do non-verbal spells, that means that you're not a very well-practiced or powerful wizard. I just, <laughs> like, it's things like that that honestly just really annoy me. Like, I'm being protective over Harry Potter. I mean, I completely agree with him about Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. I do not consider Harry Potter and the Cursed Child to be canon. It is not in the Harry Potter realm for me. But I do consider Fantastic Beasts 100% to be a part of canon Harry Potter because we have the history from that, you know? Newt Scamander wrote the textbook that the Harry Potter characters in the Harry Potter books read, and so there's obviously something there. The fact that we're gonna get to learn all about Grindelwald and Dumbledore is so exciting and refreshing and fantastic, and I don't know, I, and the fact that people are upset that there's four more b movies coming, I'm so excited for it. I think it's gonna be a blast. Now, the whole Johnny Depp thing about being Grindelwald is kind of surprising for me. I, I'm i surprised by the age of Grindelwald. I think that's just what it is. I'm I don't think I'm really understanding the age for sure, but they said, if I remember correctly, somewhere it said that the five ha new Harry Potter movies are going to be across a 19-year spectrum. I think that's what they said. So... I don't know if they mean that we've kind of like hit the prime and we're going to be seeing flashbacks. I don't really know what that means or if we're going to be going 19 years into the future past 1926. I don't really know. But I am excited to find out. I will I will always be okay with more Harry Potter movies. So that's just me though. So all right, I need to get go ahead and get these boxes broken down. Hi babe. And then I'm going to eat some lunch. So I'll probably talk to you guys then. I just get so puffed up <laughs> whenever whenever someone talks about Harry Potter. So, all right, I'll be back. So this is what my lunch consists of. I have some toasted bread with some spray brown on it. This bread is so good, I can't even stand it. And then this delicious soup that my mom made. It has fresh cut onions and, and spinach and carrots and pasta and the broth is so good and also has some peas in it and it's so good and also has peppers roasted red peppers on it and i just i die it's so tasty i cannot wait to get all this in my stomach and i'm going to catch up and watch some youtube videos that i haven't and especially some vlogmas ones that i haven't watched in a while i could be taking this moment to read but i'm gonna do this instead oh i think the is the Shadowhunter cast? Oh, the Shadowhunter cast is gonna go live. Okay, just kidding. I'm watching this instead. I swear, between the pasta and the broth of this soup, it, it's so filling, but it's so good at the same time. Still waiting on this. It's like, what, they're now 18 minutes into the live stream and it's still showing the TV Capriccio. I don't even know. Capriccio logo. When are they gonna be on? There's now 544 people watching. And we're supposed to apparently be getting the last poster of the promotional season two pictures. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a picture of the whole cast, even though we already got one. <sighs> so excited for the show. I have never really been this involved in the like pre-production of a season before, like following along a cast this closely. It's been fun. It's been kind of stressful and kind of annoying at times, but it's been fun. So the issue that I'm dealing with right now, you know, out I accidentally scheduled my dentist appointment on a day that I'm working so I have to get that changed but the only day that they have available before the end of the year is literally tomorrow at either 10 or 10 30 but I'm already going to get my eyes checked out tomorrow because I have something going on with my right eye I went to the eye doctor back in November and he said that I should go to a specialist and get my eyes checked out the only issue though is that they're gonna have to dilate my eyes and so my mom's driving me and I don't know 
and it's like the appointment they have is going to be after the eye doctor is over but i just don't know if she'll have the time to be able to drive me to the to the doctor to the dentist get my teeth cleaned and then come back home before she has to go to work so i'm basically waiting on my mom's response right now before i can call the dentist back and hopefully it'll all work out because otherwise I'm gonna feel really bad because then our insurance you know we'll be paying for insurance for all this year and I wouldn't have used it so Get out of the shower those pajama pants that I bought and they're so soft I can't even I, I can't I cannot and I'm now watching the shadow hunters interview and it's really good so far all right I will be back when the interview is over I don't know how I missed this, but Lin-Manuel Miranda was on an episode of Drunk History talking about Hamilton, and I am about to watch it, and I am so excited. Oh my gosh, you guys should know by now that my love for Hamilton is like infinite. So the fact that we are finally getting this, I'm just gonna watch this, it's only 21 minutes long, I'm gonna watch this, and then I'm gonna have to start getting ready to go for dinner tonight. But when I realized that this was here, I just had to like drop everything. So we're gonna watch this really fast, I'm so excited. Oh, and also I want to let you guys know that I did get my um, dentist and stuff all that figured out. So tomorrow is just going to be a horrible day because I'm going to have to do eye doctor stuff and teeth stuff all in the same day. And it's going to suck, but it'll be okay, I guess. So, okay. On to drunk history with Lin-Manuel Miranda. Heck yes. Hello. My name is Lin-Manuel Miranda. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. <laughs> Cheers, my brother. Cheers. Here we are. Our story begins in the exotic Caribbean. <laughs> okay. I'm going to lean forward. Here we go. Oh, shit. I'm drunk. <laughs> I want to order Domino's. Um, every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end. I know who I want to take me home. That was. Oh my gosh, that was so freaking wonderful. <laughs> God, Lynn Manuel Miranda is amazing. I. The only shots I took were ones of Lynn being absolutely adorable. I didn't take any shots of the actual show or anything because I didn't want to ruin it in case any of you guys want to go watch it. But I highly, highly recommend you going and checking. You guys can't even see me <laughs> going and checking that show out that is so funny and fabulous oh my goodness so fantastic um so i'm gonna go ahead and start getting ready for going up dinner tonight i i really want to try to let my hair dry as naturally as possible so i'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup first and hopefully let my hair dry the side's already drying quite a bit so hopefully i won't have to like blow dry it and then do some other heat stuff to it so we shall see so it says that two more posters are going to be revealed today for the shadow hunters what is it gonna be is it gonna be i guess more like group pictures or are we gonna get like couple pictures what's gonna what's going on are we gonna get like maybe maya pitch make a maya poster maybe I don't know, I don't know. So it says, once we reach the target of, of 20,000 tweets, the first poster will be revealed. Then we need to get to 40,000 to unlock the final artwork. Holy cow, 40,000 tweets? Is that, are we gonna get to that really quickly? Like, I don't know the power of this fandom. Like, I and I don't really even know where they're getting these sources from either, but I don't know how, how fast that's gonna happen. Okay, so my nails are done and they are nice and blue and we are now at 67% to unlock the new poster. Super excited. There's a little bit of the back of my head just needs to dry and it probably should be dry in like the next 5 to 10 minutes. So I'm just giving that as well as my nails just a little bit more time to dry before I straighten my hair. Here is the first poster. So what's cool is Larry, Magnus, and Isabel have the same picture that they showed us while the other four Alec, Simon, Jace, and Luke have a different picture so that's pretty cool. And now we are just trying to unlock this last one. It's at 50% right now. It's like a lot smaller. It's like a lot skinnier so I wonder if that's going to be like the new like look I guess maybe for the Shadow Hunter like logo. 
or if they're just trying to make it small to throw us off or if it's going to be like one of all of their faces like side by side by side smoke coming up from my hair that shows that no abby your hair was not completely dry when you decided to start doing this it's fine i have a heat protectant in my hair so it'll be all right. So while I wait, I for sure know that I want to wear one of my new sweaters. I just don't really know which one I want to wear yet. We're still at 66%. Okay, so let's see. Which one do I want to wear? We're still at freaking 66%. Okay, I'm going to go put the sweater on really fast. And it, I swear if it premieres while I'm, while I'm changing, I'm going to be so mad. But so I changed my mind. I'm not wearing the cream one. I'm wearing this one. <laughs> this one's comfier. I think I might actually take the cream one back. So that one's right there. I'm not liking it as much as I hoped that I would. So these are the cute socks that I like to wear with my boots. They're the ones that, they're like leg warmers and you just peep them over the top of your boots and they're super cute. We are still at 66%, literally how? How? I'm gonna get worried that like it's not gonna happen before I have to leave. And I have a strict policy, you know, no like texting or driving or any, no texting and driving or anything like that. So I'll have to put my phone down and I won't be able to look at it until I get to the restaurant. And that's like a whole like 20 minutes. That's a long time to not be looking at my phone when we have a poster to unlock. We are at 88%, guys. We're at 88%. We're at 88%. We're at 88%. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I literally have to leave in 10 minutes if I am going to make getting dinner on time and I don't want to be late for her. And still nothing. If it's the two things that I said it was, either like a poster of them across the face of like all their faces or if it's a new like shadow hunter logo if that's what the if that's if it's one of those two i'm gonna be so smart i need to leave in like three minutes two minutes now i should go ahead and go on downstairs and put my shoes on and stuff and i'll like i'll like get back to you guys in the car okay so i got here a little bit early so i'm able to look at the poster it um of course like i knew it would it unlocked the moment that i put my car pretty much in gear and got ready to go so now we get a chance to finally look at it and it oh no <laughs> and it's pretty much exactly like i thought it was gonna be it's just it's just the whole crew together and yeah it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's just all of them in a row. Can you focus? Focus. Thank you. It's exactly like I thought it was going to be. The only cool thing is what's a little bit different. So Clary. So Magnus now has like, what's really cool is he now has his hands up with his power. Focus for me, please. Focus. So there we go. Yeah. So you can see them a little bit better and yeah. All right, now focus back on me. Back on me, back on me. Thank you. So, yeah. It's what I thought it was going to be. So, I love being right. <laughs> so, and I'm about to go and enjoy some delicious dinner. We are at this restaurant called Chile. Or, as most people call it, as most people know it, Chili's. Um, I... I can't recall ever being here, like ever coming to this restaurant, but if I did, it had, it's like, it's been literal years, like since I was a kid. So I really don't even remember what is really on, I don't even really know what the menu is, but uh, my friend really likes this place. And so here we are. So I'm excited to get to see her. Like I said, it's been literally months since the last time I've seen this girl. So I'm very, very excited. And it is also starting to rain and drizzle a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get inside where it is safe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a table. So yeah, I'm not gonna bring the camera out just because I want us to have a good chance to catch up and all that. So I will probably catch you guys back here in the car once I'm done eating. So I will see you guys soon. All right, kids, I am officially done with dinner I have honestly forgotten how much I have missed her holy cow um, it is like 8 20 we were there for about two hours just catching up and it was truly just so nice to get to see her again and we are gonna be planning another like either like hangout or together soon I know but Again, it was just so nice to get to see her. I missed her so much. <laughs> Did you ever have those friends where you swear you could go like 
weeks, months without seeing them and yet you see them again and it's like you had never been apart. You know, that is truly how it is for me and her and we just have such a good friendship. I miss her. So, I feel like that's just, like I feel like that's how I am with a lot of my friends. Like, I have the best success out of people that I can go for a while without seeing, but when I see them, it's like we were never apart. Like, that's how me and my friend Jill are. Like, I swear me and her are going to be friends until we both die. <laughs> Just because we're so good at, like, not talking to each other for so long and then picking right back up where we left off. And I, th I feel like that just kind of proves that, like, you know, friendships can kind of work out. It doesn't matter how often you see each other or not. You just, you know that you can depend on it. Well, I was trying to have a sweet moment. <laughs> I guess sweet time's over. My camera was like, nope, I've had enough of this. But, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and focus on getting home safe, as always. And then I will say my goodnights when I get home. All right, friends. So I am now safely at home. So I am going to call it a night because I have to be up really, really early tomorrow. So we are having to leave the house by 8 o'clock to make it to both of my appointments tomorrow. Tomorrow morning's going to suck, can I just say. So I am going to leave you guys with this for today. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another vlog. Good night.